Hello and welcome to the season finale of the Valley Putters preview and Tommy really looking forward to Friday night, some A-grade racing here and the curtain comes down on what's been a terrific night racing season. Yes, yeah, it's been an outstanding season of Lowbrook's Friday Night Lights, Benny. Probably the highlight for me, Vidora in the Moya Stakes, just the way she exploded when she came around the bend, it was really, really impressive. A little bit of self-interest for me there because I did back her, but it was just a really impressive win, it really it was a great way to start the Lowbrook's Friday Night Lights season. Yeah, I agree. Uh, probably Chautauqua for me, I thought it was a fitting send-off for a champion, it was uh, only Chautauqua could go out that way. Pretty um, memorable moment, him parading down the straight there. Cracking edition, Tommy, of the Keo Homes. William Reed Stakes on Friday night. Always comes up a good race and really looking forward to this one. Benny, I really think it's a really interesting betting race. The horse I found on top is Shoals. I think she might be one of the most underrated horses in the country. She returned to the races in Sydney last start with a second place finish behind Trapeze Artist in the Canterbury Stakes. Beat home horses, the quality of Pierrata and Kementari in that race. She's as consistent as they come. She never really runs a bad race. I think 1,200 metres is ideal for her. And she really maps to get a really nice run just in behind the leaders there from Barrier 5. So I do think she'll be tough to beat. She's been really well backed with Ladbrokes as well. A horse I don't mind a little each way odds, Benny, is written by I think Jordan Childs plans to ride this horse fairly aggressively. I'd love to see him just let him rip and really turn this into a, a proper contest. Obviously at the Valley it's always an advantage to be in front. So I think he can run his cheeky race and he'll give the other horses something to run down. They bought written by out here for a gallop last week. Tommy, first look at the track. He handled the corner well. Another horse that came out this week was Sunlight. Uh, of course she's raced here once and had no luck at all. She's my tip for the race. No surprise as the last start new market winner. I think on pace and will be very hard to run down. Of course, we've also got the Labrokes 55 second challenge final here on Friday night. Tommy, 54.77 is the time they have to beat. Can they? And who do you like? I don't think they will beat that time, Benny. The truck was absolutely flying that night, but it is a really strong addition of the Labrokes uh, 55 second challenge. I think we've saved the best for last. A horse I do like is Desert Lashes. A horse with a simply outstanding first start record. Always flies fresh. Makes its own luck right on the speed. All its best former over these short cross sprints. So I think it's a horse that's really perfectly suited to the Labrokes 55 second challenge. The horse that's open as favourite with Labrokes is super hard. Return to the races with a really impressive win over a thousand metres at Flemington last start. He's, I think he's the class horse in the field, Benny. Probably the only issue I've got is I'm not sure 955 at the Valley is ideal for him. I think he'll be running home late, but I think maybe at $3 is under the odds, but still a really interesting race. The Dynamic Print Group, Alexandra Stakes for the three-year-olds is the next race to take a look at. I found one of double-figure odds that I'm really keen on here called Atana. Thought it was a terrific win first up at one by five at sale. They then tested the stronger company in the CUNY. No luck at all. Four, five wide the trip and was still gallant enough to come on at the end. I think the 1,600 metres is a tick and I think Atana with Linda Meach in the saddle will be very hard to beat. It'd be naive of me to leave out Angelic Rule to the couple of runs here since coming over from WA have been terrific. A little bit of luck and we'll be right in the finish. Benny, we finished the night in the Sunline Stakes. I think we're probably the best bet of the night is Spanish Reef. Been absolutely flying this campaign. Really impressive last start winner at Flemington. Won this race last year in pretty dominant fashion, really. And I think she's really another horse that's really nicely suited to the Valley. She'll make her own luck right on the speed. I really can't see her getting beat. I think she's the best bet of the day, and I think we'll be going one out of the quaddy. Yeah, I think it's a uh, one-out job. I agree. Spanish Reef in the last look. If you wanted another one, Nantali gave her a bit of a race the other day at Flemington, but I think Spanish Reef is certainly the way to go. Tommy, we're playing for the Challenge Foundation. Let's try and land the final quaddy of the season. Leg number one, who did you want in for the Labrokes 55 second challenge? Benny, as I said earlier, very keen number three, Desert Lashes. Number five, Super Hard's got to go in for the reasons outlined earlier. Also, I want to put in number two, Demonstrator, number four, Belwazi. Both horses that have had success in the Labrokes 55 second challenge in the past. For the Alexandra Stakes, the three-year-olds, I want number eight, Atana, and three, Angelic Ruler, on my side. Also number five, Victory Kingdom. I liked the uh, run of number six, Moret, last time out, and I think number one for two, at a little bit of a price, needs to go in. Good run against the older horses last time out. Benny, in the feature race of the night, the William Reed Stakes, number 10, Sunlight, the favourite, number five, Shoals, they've got to go in. They do look like the two horses to beat. The other horse I want to throw in is number nine, Ridden By. I really think Ridden aggressively, he can give those horses a scare. The Seamus Mills Budstock Sunline Stakes is the last race. And like I said, I think if we're still alive, we only need one in the last, being the four, Spanish Reef. Really looking forward to Friday night, Tommy. I encourage everyone to come along for the season finale. Of course, we'll open up the track after the last to let you walk the famous turf. Not only that, the Jockey Barry giveaway is always a popular one. Food trucks and live music as well, plus the quality racing. Hope you managed to find a winner. We'll see you here on Friday night.